Hello, FKJ Bros on the Abyss. This time we got all the gamers here. Last game we were playing, I don't know if we're uploading it or not because uh, I DC'd oh, for the I'm first. I'm uploading it. Yeah, I, well, I wasn't here for the first 15 minutes, so. Yeah. <laughs> and that resulted in a major L. But Yeah, but we're here. And uh, this time, it's going to go different. We're going to win. It's going to be great. Yeah, you see, I'm on Cho'Gath. Like, that's an instant win right there, right? Yeah. I we talked have... about last... I, or, I guess you weren't here for it, but I was talking about last video how Twitch is my best champion. Uh, Cho'Gath is yours, so... I think Kale might be my best champion in ARAM, mm, but yeah. I do have, like, 600k points on, on Cho'Gath, which... Yeah. I think Are you should doing, uh, tank or AP. I'm going tank, but I'm just starting Guardian's Orb for like mana regen and stuff. Yeah. And just to do this and be really annoying. I think anybody who has 600k points on Cho'Gath though should be in a mental asylum because it's like, what do you do on this champion that's different? Um, it's well, the answer for you was just buy every item. <laughs> You've probably purchased every item on Cho'Gath. And I think that's exactly why I belong in a mental asylum yeah. because it's like. Who in their right mind buys Static Shift PD on Cho'Gath? Just like legit as many crit attack speed items as I could. Yeah. Uh, for no reason other than I thought it was funny. Um, that's a three man knockup though. I'm pretty pleased with that. Get a little fourth shot in on him. A little screw. Well. You just sort of hide in a bush and you just keep throwing abilities at him. That's how you play Cho'Gath yeah. in this game mode, or any game mode really. Oh, yeah. One thing I do want to try though, in commentary again, is doing like some sort of post, uh, post humus of the game <laughs> uh, commentary of it, where like we're going back over and I don't know if it'd be talking about the game or just using the game as a backdrop for some talking points, but I think that that could be sort of fun, uh, especially in like those edited down shorter videos that yeah. we have. Where it's like we can talk exactly about what's going on if if we want to be talking more about gameplay. Um, I'm just going to take this because that's right in the way. <laughs> yeah, I've gotten to the point where I stop dodging around bard health packs and I just walk over them. Yeah, it's like if I need to be in that location, I am more important yeah. than the, the bloom. It's like recognizing your own self-worth. It's like, yeah, you don't need yeah. to go out of your way for that. Like, I'm, I'm more valuable to the team than that. <laughs> <laughs> I am worth the 200 health, or what, not even, 100 health he gives. Yeah, yep. Even if somebody else could use it more, sometimes it's just about taking what's yours. Yep. It sounds like it could be some philosophical metaphor for life, but really I'm just talking about League. Sometimes League is a metaphor for life. <laughs> a lot of the times, in a way. is a metaphor for life because this game is trash <laughs> just like life just like life is trash and just like it uh, makes you sad it wears you down it causes you to do bad things yeah in many ways league is life so speaking of uh this is just a little league drama that i saw this morning looking at reddit mm -hmm. uh do you know who dakar is he's kind of like a long time streamer who's never oh. like never gotten super super popular but he's always had like some level of fan base mm. okay. uh, he's a rengar player for the most part and someone posted a clip on reddit of him like complaining about his jungler being win trading because they wouldn't gank top lane level three and then he uh died and left the game <laughs> and uh it was just it was you know and everyone in the comments was like, why do people still watch this guy? He's literally been the same person for <laughs> seven years playing this game. Dude. And he's, is, I, I agree. Why do, why do people watch people like that? That's what I wanted to bring up. It's like, he just gets mad at the game, smurfs in like bronze games to go, go 20 and 0 on Rengar. Mm -hmm. And like, He's just kind of a piece of garbage. <laughs> and I, think, I don't, I, I don't get the entertainment value in that. 
what it comes down to, I think, is, like, consistency. Like, nobody goes to McDonald's because they're like, wow, this place has good food. <laughs> you go to it because you're like, I know that when I'm getting a McChicken, it's going to taste like a McChicken. You go to that guy's I, stream, yeah. maybe he's going to be just, mad he's at gonna be mad for at being bad. Players. Yep. Yeah. And sure, you may not like it. You might not agree with it. But at least you know what you're going to be getting. There's no surprises there. Yeah. I saw one of the other things, like one of the reasons people don't leave is because you can basically say anything in his chat and not get banned so it's kind of like a respite for the toxic twitch chatters oh so it just sort of is that that toxic safe haven of yeah. league of legends players the the last bastion they have of toxicity it's, it's like low priority queue but for twitch <laughs> chat <laughs> yeah i'm too close to rumble I'm gonna silence Alawi so then she can't slap me. That was very good. This yeah. is going quite well, I think. There's a jinx in this brush or something. Oh, oh it's Evelyn. That's not yep. the right one. <laughs> I just she just snowballed me and killed me with the snowball, and I was yeah. like, I don't know who that was. Nah, you're good. I uh, just was like, well, hopefully she doesn't have ult because if she does, I'm dead <laughs> either way. <laughs> yep. And then she did, and I was dead. Well, I almost have a Frostfire Gauntlet, which I think is really fun. Mm -hmm. I really don't understand how size increases are good for League of Legends champions, but uh, they sure are funny. It's yep, like, ooh, that's... I can block skill shots. It's like, I already, I already could. I'm Chogath. Yeah. But now you're big. Now I'm big. And that's funny. Yeah. One thing that I also realize on Chogath is how small he is right away. Like, yeah, so that he's not just size. absolutely gargantuan by the end of the game. Like, yeah. he's big, but he's, like, when you see other champs get Cho'Gath ult now in his ultimate spellbook, you're like, they are taller than the turrets. Yeah. <laughs> Same thing with Silas. I used to ban Silas every game because he'd just get bigger than, than I would be when I was playing yeah. Cho'Gath. And I was like, I don't want that. So I just banned Silas uh, for a while after he came out because... He would steal my alt, and he'd just get larger than I was, and I was like, this is unacceptable. I'm supposed to be the biggest on the rift. Um, yeah, he's like Vigar-sized right off the bat. Yeah. Yordles are weirdly big for being this small. That's true, too. Least. At least Rumble, like, he... He's, yeah, he, he's he like looks... what you'd expect, because he's in a mech. Yeah. And Corky the same. But, like, but all the rest the are like ones. nearly <laughs> human size. Yeah, <laughs> you're just like, bro, what's going on? Am I taking this? I'm taking it. Oh, well. Was that a good play? No. Did I have fun doing it? Yes. Flashed right when I got hit by the rumble snowball. Um, I think we're going plated steel caps. I don't really have a lot of CC. I always wonder, and I did look it up one time, but I've since forgotten mm -hmm. whether plated steel caps prevent damage from, uh... Ooh, let me get her. I want to eat stack. Whether plated steel caps prevent damage from Azir or not. They do not. His soldiers are spells. Okay. They don't apply any auto attack damage. They are just auto attacking spells. All right. I remember looking it up like a year ago, and then I quit playing League, and I was like, any League knowledge can now vacate the premise. <laughs> and then I forgot about it for a while. All right, Trucks going in. Uh... Oh, I didn't quite get him. I just lost half my health to an Evelyn Q. Yeah. I would really like to kill these because I get health off of them. That's one thing that's fun uh, about laning against Lowie and Lane. Mm -hmm. Is you can just K 
kill her tentacles. Wow, I did absolutely nothing that fight. Rumble just waits for me to ult and then drops the equalizer on me. <laughs> what I did that fight is I landed a sick Q, barred then ulted all of them. <laughs> I couldn't do anything. I was like, all right. This bard has had some, uh, some substandard ultimate abilities. Yeah. Bard is... The reason he's the lowest win rate is because he is one of the easiest champs to make your team do worse with. Yeah. You know, most champs can do bad, but it's hard to make others do bad. Yeah. A lot of characters, but Bard can definitely make others do bad. Like, I was just completely zoned out of that fight because of our own bard. And he probably doesn't even know. That's the other funny thing. Yeah. He's probably like, man, that was a cool ult. <laughs> Ouch. This Jinx is using her abilities an awful lot for somebody that's not, uh, like, lethality. She does have a tier. But she went tier cracking, so which is interesting. Oh. You gotta get the knock up right as they land. Oh! Get Rita popped off. Holding down the fort, you love to see it. Where's your equalizer now? <laughs> Just run away. The Azir is approaching. Six. I don't know how much longer this game's gonna go though. Yeah. Got two champs out of it, so got two more minion stacks. Yeah. I wonder if Warmog's first would be best on Choga. It very well could be. I'm going full arm with him. I'm just going collector. Uh or Dominic's. Well, An enemy has been slain. gamers, I think we should hide. Ugh. I thought Evelyn might have been there, and it would have been pretty sick if I got her. <laughs> Just gonna hold. Make okay, I keep him off then. I hit Evelyn. <laughs> <laughs> nice try. I'm definitely hurting. Where's the Hydra? Oh, Aatrox. That makes sense. Oh, let me get in this. That's some HP. Nice. Come on, Evelyn. Come on. I know you want to. so annoying on a mobile champions because you're just standing there and you're like all right well yeah it's wallop time especially when she has the ability to snowball at you <laughs> at least yeah she, she has a hard time getting on you but in this game mode she does not i will prevent them from winning right here Another day. I have a last whisper now, so hopefully I do a little bit more damage to allow me. Yeah. 
Rumble. Man, I've only got my grasp off five times, which is disappointing. Oh, I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him. I'm just gonna go for the back line. Say screw you, Wowie. Never mind. I'm peeling. Woo! Whisper damage actually came in there. Yep. I hope the towers just stuck targeting me. It's going. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> I love yeah when you're standing in it as it's spawning and it's trying so hard to get you. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Luckily, I got Warmog, yeah. so I'm gonna be back up to full health in no time. I'm gonna be back up to full health in no time again. Just, Just kidding. I need to stop getting hit by things. That's how Warmogs works. For those of you who don't know, uh, you don't want to be hit by things when you have Warmogs. Uh, so they warmogs didn't make it a very you. long wait on ARAM. I don't know. If... Yeah, it's eight seconds. Yeah. But. Here we go, back up to full health. And I'm just gonna start booking it. Trying to support. <laughs> Getting out of here. Oh, okay. I'm the last of my kind. Yep. A little Skarner cosplay for you. Never mind. Now we lose. Nah, they don't. They can't end it fast enough. There's no way. There's no way that they end it right here. <laughs> There's no way they end it. Time. <laughs> it's safe yep. water. Well, I'll hit him with the GG. Um. Yeah. Tune in for next time when uh, we go on our cyclic spree of wins.